duodenal exclusion with gastrojejunostomy for pancreatic injury. The physician performs duodenal exclusion and gastrojejunostomy for a pancreatic injury. The physician makes an abdominal incision and explores the abdomen. The pancreas is exposed and an injury in the duodenum or pancreas may be closed with sutures. An incision is made in the stomach, gastrotomy. The natural opening from the stomach to the duodenum is closed with sutures or staples. A limb of proximal small bowel is brought up to the stomach and an anastomosis is performed, gastrojejunostomy, at the site of the gastrotomy. The abdominal incision is closed. Pancreaticojejunostomy, side-to-side -side anastomosis, pustotype operation. The physician creates a pancreaticojejunostomy to drain pancreatic enzymes through a side-to-side -side anastomosis. The physician makes a midline epigastric incision and retracts the skin and underlying tissues laterally. The physician approaches the pancreas through the lesser sac of the omental bursa or through the transverse mesocolon. A jejunal loop is brought up to create a fistula for enzyme flow to the digestive tract. Bleeding is controlled and the lesser sac is closed. Tissues are reaped proximate to the anatomical position and the incision is sutured in layers. Ileostomy or jejunostomy, non-tube. The physician brings a loop or end of jejunum or ileum through the abdominal wall onto the skin as a stoma. The physician makes an abdominal incision. Next, the selected segment of jejunum or ileum is isolated. A loop or end of the selected segment of bowel is secured through a separate incision on the abdominal wall onto the skin as a stoma. The initial incision is closed. This stoma is created for purposes other than enteral feeding. Colostomy or skin level secostomy. The physician performs a colostomy or skin level secostomy. An abdominal incision is made and the peritoneum is entered, followed by a thorough exploratory exam of abdominal organs and tissues, including lysis of any adhesions. The small bowel is mobilized and isolated out of the way. The distal bowel is measured for the appropriate length for pouch creation. A proximal point from the distal end is separated from its blood supply to be made into a pouch nipple valve. The pouch is fashioned into the right configuration and secured in place. The nipple valve component is intussuscepted and secured in place. The pouch end of colon, or cecum, is brought out through a separate incision on the abdominal wall onto the skin as a stoma, cecostomy or colostomy, and secured in place with a pouch nipple to mucocutaneous tissue anastomosis. The abdomen is irrigated, a final inspection is made, and a closed system suction drain may be placed. The abdominal wall skin is closed and dressed and a pouch intubation catheter is placed into the nipple valve and pouch. Colostomy or skin level secostomy, with multiple biopsies, e.g., for congenital megacolon. The physician performs multiple biopsies of the colon wall and brings a loop of colon or cecum through the abdominal wall onto the skin as a stoma. The physician makes an abdominal incision. Next, multiple biopsies are obtained along the length of the colon wall. A loop of colon or cecum is brought through a separate incision on the abdominal wall onto the skin as a stoma colostomy or secostomy. The initial incision is closed. Gastroduodenostomy. The physician performs a gastroduodenostomy. The physician uses an upper midline epigastric incision through fascia and muscle. The distal end of the greater curvature of the stomach is removed. The duodenum is mobilized and connected to the greater curvature. The anastomosis is closed with interrupted stitches and the abdominal incision is closed. Gastrojejunostomy, without vagotomy. With vagotomy, any type. 
the physician performs a gastrojejunostomy to create a direct passage between the stomach and jejunum. The physician makes an upper abdominal incision to expose the stomach and small intestine. The distal portion of the stomach is resected and the jejunum is anastomosed to the gastric stump. The duodenal stump is closed. The vagal nerves are preserved. Report 43825 if a vagotomy is also performed. Hepatotomy, for open drainage of abscess or cyst, one or two stages. The physician incises the liver to drain an abscess or a cyst, sometimes taking one or two stages. The physician exposes the liver via an upper midline incision. The cyst is incised and suctioned with care to not contaminate the abdomen with purulent matter. Cultures and pathology are sent in a separately reported activity. The incision is closed. Anorectal myomectomy The physician removes a muscle tumor or a section of muscle from the anorectum. The physician identifies the anorectal muscle tumor or area of interest. A transanal incision is made through the rectal wall and the tumor or identified area of muscle is excised. The incision is closed by approximating the muscle edges and closing the incision in the rectal lining. 